In the previous clips, we have talked about the definition of media governance, and we covered a very basic spherical model of governance. In the next clips, I want to zoom in on the evolution of the watchdog and fourth estate ideal, because these ideals on the role of the media and society have greatly influenced the governance models of today. But before we start there, however, I would first like to look back a bit to an earlier time when these ideals were not yet formed. I want to look back to early modern models of media governance. In the medieval and early modern world, media served as a tool for the powerful elite to reach their subjects, clients and consumers. Kings, councils and corporations made use of mass media. Rulers needed to inform their people about practical things like laws, taxes, wars and diseases. Merchants and corporations wanted to advertise their wares and inform people on prices for buying or selling goods. Religious leaders used channels to tell people what to think and how to interpret a complicated and sometimes scary world. The powerful elite used mass communication for propaganda to convince people that they should be, should be content with their lot, not rise up and be docile followers to the powers that be. Often, media were actively used as an opium for the people, to distract people and keep their minds off revolutionary thoughts. Of course, the media landscape had many more mundane functions as well. In some countries, a postal system had evolved. Coins told people who the king or ruler was. People all over the world were showered with religious messages. Newsletters were passed from merchant to merchant to inform on blockades of ports, ships that had been wrecked by storms, and food shortages in regions. Graffiti was used to defame a local ruler. Through drums, African soldiers were able to communicate effectively over huge distances. Playwrights were hired by councils to further their political goals or to win favor of the people, etc., etc. In our course, Introduction to Communication Science, we dive deeper into the history of the media landscape. What is important now is the means of governing these channels. And the early modern model is actually quite simple. These channels served the goals of the powerful elite. And the people behind these media served at the back and call of said elite. To put it in a metaphor, the media served as a lapdog of kings, councils, and corporations. Of course, there was the critical sound now and then. Sometimes rebellious pamphlets were printed and distributed, challenging the status quo. But overall, the model was quite simple. They were always an instrument, usually wielded by the dominating elite, and sometimes used as an instrument for change, worldly or religiously the media were not yet regarded as a power upon themselves. And this time-old model of the subservient media changed drastically at the turn of the 18th century.